Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Pixel Echo. Before we check out today's Traders Van, Pixel Gun 3D has a couple of new offers available in the store. I wanted to share my opinions on them, whether they're worth getting or not. If you go on the store now, there's a couple of different chests available. We have chests that you're able to purchase for real money. And then we have this weapon chest. Gift a weapons chest to a friend. 1,200 gems. We have this one, which is the weapons chest. And this one, which is also a weapons chest. They have slightly different weapons inside of them. I haven't seen anything too exciting in these. Especially not worth 1,200 gems. This one might be a little bit better. Honestly, not really. I don't think there's any standout weapons that you should be wasting 1,200 gems on. For me, I would avoid this one. However, if you scroll across, there is another offer available. It's for Pixel Pass tickets, but it's for a friend. If you tap on this, you are able to gift your friend 300 Pixel Pass tickets for 270 gems. It is worth trading with your friends. We know Pixel Pass tickets are worth the most in this game, and that's practically halfway to a Pixel Pass. Unfortunately, I have no friends to share this with, but it is something I would recommend. And last but not least, I mentioned this in my previous video, avoid the anime season chests. 600 pixel pass tickets is not worth this. There is way too many skins inside of here. It's a very big gamble. Avoid this. Let's get into today's trader's van. It is available for the next five days. The primary is the PGA-01 Living Rifle. Primary Mythical Damage Sphere Disables Jumps and Poison Fire Rate 98 Capacity 35 Mobility 65. The backup is the Disturbing Balloons. Backup Mythical Rockets Area Damage and Critical Damage Fire Rate 80 Capacity 12 Mobility 75. The special is the Sun Eater. Special Mythical Stream Beam Disables Jumps and Slows the Target Fire Rate 71 Capacity 100 mobility 65 there are two types of heavies available they're very similar in style the bad clown is looping shot sticky mines and contact detonator meanwhile the deceitful cheetah is sticky mines contact detonator and blindness you can use the contact detonator in this game mode oh my days upon impact was that me wow has this always been this good on contact this thing is insane I did not expect that to happen. Bro, what? Yeah, so this seems to be a really good weapon for this mode. I'm just going to plant down a whole bunch of these. If anyone is close to you, like he is. Come on, bro. I see you over there. Did we get him out? Thought I got him out. Bro is trying to follow me. This thing is actually insane for this mode. Okay, so obviously there's no rocket jumping with this. But if you can just stick around on the ground, trust me. Yeah, this thing is an absolute beast in block crash. I'm guessing this is going to be the exact same. No. So in terms of block crash, it looks like the bad clown is much better than this. Okay. I mean, you can still destroy a couple of blocks. It still happens if anyone gets too close to you. You kind of want to defend yourself. You can. Bro is using the magnet. I made that. I used it, bro. And I actually won a game. It's doable, bro. It is doable. Okay, let's just keep going. Bro is just standing over there. He's got to be done for. He decided to leave the game. Nope. Bro, where did Bro go? I don't think he left the game. My guy's just got terrible connection. I'm just going to keep trying to trap him in there. <laughs> yep. Bro is using the pulling towards target weapon. With this kind of thing, you just need to kind of bait it a little bit. Kind of pre-fire it somewhere else. Put that over there. Bro is 100% going to die here. I don't know what he's doing. This guy too. He is still surviving. What? How did he make it through that? How are these guys still alive? Still going strong though. And the best way to best thing for me to do here is probably just bait the middle. Just a little bit. Bro's rocket jumping though. If they stand on them, they're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. There you go. He should be able to see these though. Reload. Bro is still alive somehow. He's still going. He's pulling towards target. That guy is still going. I don't want to follow them. It's getting shorter. It's getting shorter around here. I'm going to put that there so he stands on it. <laughs> yep, bro is doing his absolute best over there. One is down. One is down. Another guy. Gotta be done for, surely. Okay, he died. 
this guy surely got to be stuck. How has he not died? He's, he's still going. Bro, is still alive here. Okay, I can't go that way because I'm not going to make it. Still trying to rocket jump around me. Bro's connection is not very good, I'll be honest with you. Gonna back away from him real quick. Come on. Come on. Like the delay on, on... Why are they not exploding on him? Why is it taking so long? Like the only player it's not seem... That's gotta do it. That's gotta get him out. Finally, bro. Bro is still trying. I think his connection just wasn't registering correctly. Well, Bad Clown is better. A lot of me thinks that nobody really watches Traders Van reviews anymore. But I don't care. Because, like, I still enjoy doing the videos. Even though the Traders Vans are incredibly outdated. And what I do want to say to you guys here is that I would already be picking the Bad Clown over the Deceitful. It has bigger area damage. It does more damage. And I think it's just generally better. So, if you guys want to get one of these weapons, then it's definitely this one. And you can cause so much bait against any player. Whether you're playing this map, whether you're playing something like Silent School. Here we go. Nobody stands a chance. He's just going to keep walking into them every time. It takes a while for your bullets to explode too. So, like, you'll see only one kind of explodes at a time. Here we go. I'm going to put this down here. That guy's name. Wow. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to jump back up. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're already dead. I want to try the balloons. Here we go. Balloon is like a really close range weapon, but three shots is not bad. I think on sound school, it'd be all right. I mean, I'm trying, dude. Like, even the bullet is slower than a player walking. Like, for a fact. Much love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I got him, though. This is not bad. Just got to get, like, really close to players. Unfortunately, that's not meta. And as for this, I would just be avoiding any form of automatic in Pixel Gun 3D at the moment. It's not meta. It's not going to be meta for a while. Come on. Here we go. We need this. Everyone's got shotguns. Bro, how many shots does it require? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, bro. Come on, man. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. There's so many assists. And that's a prime example as why, as why these are not worth getting anymore. Guy on my team is absolutely beaming everyone. Get him down, boys. Get him. There we go. Got to kill with it at least. So with zero mods, not too bad. Not amazing. Nothing standing out. Let's try Sun Eater. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe not. Get him back, though. Get, get the revenge kill. Charge this back up. I think bro is still ch chilling there. He is. Dude, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Guys in the corridor. No, 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 no. Bro's gone all the way down there. Good tactic against a weapon like this. Did he go this way? And I'm coming this way. Coming this way. Oh, I don't know where he went. He's disappeared. This dude's just standing here. Definitely a weapon to consider getting. This is my favorite weapon on Sound School. And if somebody's using something like this, or they're using something really annoying, I consider it a great way to stop players. This is a one-sided match, man. I've ever seen one. I want to try this. Come on. <laughs> what? Bro, definitely never see me there. This is a terrible weapon. I think they did buff it in terms of damage, but like it's it's so slow. Pixel Gun's way too fast paced for a weapon like this. Here we go. I got him there though. Here we go, dudes. Place him back down. Come on. That over there. Uh oh. Yeah. Bro's, bro's owned me this game, hasn't he? Duke back down. Yes! No, we didn't kill him. You gotta be kidding me, bro. That was a nice, that was a bit of a nice kill. Got him down, though. Got some weapons that I'm struggling to deal with. Guys, again, I want to try this one more time. You see him over there. How many shots does this require? This B is coming towards me, though. Yeah. Garbage. <laughs> one more kill. No! Anyway. Bad Clown is probably the go-to weapon in today's video. I hate putting myself through it and playing this map, but I'm going to do it just because I want to see how we get on. Oh, okay. He got me there. This is this is going to be filled with wave pulses, bad clowns. I used to absolutely love this map, you know? Like, it was my favorite all-time map in Pixagun 3D. But because of the way the game is now, it just doesn't stand a chance, does it? Like, nobody stands a chance on this map. 
I just gotta keep baiting this. There's so many. Whoa, bro didn't see me. He hasn't seen me yet. There we go. We got him. Yeah, this can one shot. Wow. Didn't one shot him though. Anyone coming towards me? Definitely gonna struggle, bro. This thing is a beast. He hasn't seen me yet. Balloon! Is he dead? Oh, he got me. Okay. Wave Pulsar Central. Wave Pulsar Central, bro. I think like three or four people have it on this map. Come on. I'm gonna nuke here. And try and get him. <laughs> yes, we got him, boys! <laughs> Come on, boys. Here we go. Yeah, I told you. Corridor style map, this thing would thrive. I told you it would. I knew it would. Because it's like mini explosions. You're firing like mini, mini rockets, essentially. Oh, I didn't... Oh, 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 I'm still alive. Hey, what about this then? What about this thing, full charge? Somebody with me. He missed me. I won the gunfight. Can we get... Oh, no chance. All right, on you then, on you. Guy right behind me. Here he comes. Here he comes. Nuke down. Coming again, come on. Bro's trying to nuke me too. I got squished. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Charge, charge, charge. Sun Eater is a good charge shot weapon. I don't know what the best charge shot is now. I haven't seen the Ronin been used in a while either. I think because everyone's currently using wave pulses. So, yeah. I don't think I'll win this because like, there's got to be someone with double points or something in here. I'll tell you what, man. We haven't done that bad, but I'm struggling to get like consistent kills. This is the ultimate spot to bait players. Put down a nuke. Oh, bro, has made it up here. I got bees chasing me. Oh, we made it first place. Okay. Here we go. Hey, yes. Bad clown. You got to compete with wave pulses and bad clowns on this map now. It gets worse. every. Uh, I feel like every time it just keeps getting worse. I'm moving. I made it back up. Oh, oh, I, 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 I thought I was upstairs. Thought I actually made it upstairs there. <laughs> the amount of players that are just going to walk into this. I think he's got the same thing he does, but no one stands a chance. At least if you want to kill the people who have wave pulses, this is the map to do it on. Sorry, buddy. I want to try this, though. No, you made me waste it, bro. You made me waste it. Come on. Oh, I was a fresh spawn, so I was doing all right there. Full charge. It's a good full charge. It'll get you kills, but certainly isn't meta. Ooh, it's a clean kill. Going back in. Once again, bad clown. Every single spot. Yeah, so if you want to be just as annoying as the wave pulser players, bring this out. They don't like it. They don't like it at all. Although nobody can play in that game. Get the bad clown. I have modules on, but it's just going to be the exact same outcome on the deceitful. Like, it will just get you kills if you want to kill people that are using, I don't know, once again, wave pulses, anything at all. Like, 100% the weapon to go for. Something like this. But between the both of them, this gets my pick. I think the bullet's a lot bigger as well. You know what I mean? Like, if that was the bad clown, I think we get a kill there. Yeet. Come on. It's going on the ceiling. I don't want it on the ceiling, bro. Ain't nobody on the ceiling. Let's see how many kills we get here. It's not bad. Like, it's not bad. I feel like this is more of an impact one. I know it's contact detonator, but if you manage to just directly impact, that's the way to go with this one. Yeah, that was insane there. Oh, one more. Got you. Another dude in there. I got a lot more one-shot kills with that clown over this. Just kill myself from what? What kill me? Where are you, boy? Got hit him once. Too many two shot kills here. All right, guys. I don't want to show you too much gameplay because I think it's just a basic comparison. I would go bad clown over the deceitful cheetah.